So we're going for a walk. Today is February the 9th, is it? Something like that. We got our eight inches of new snow. Snow plow's been up and down. Willem's done some digging. Would not know there's a pond. Not today you wouldn't. But you would know there's a stream. You can tell it's warmer. It's less ice. Oh, it looks so lovely. To walk along the stream. We could walk in the stream even. Wouldn't that be fun, Willem? No? Look, there's more ice on this side. More ice here because it's in the shadow. Or is it freezing up? Lots of life on those rocks. Look at how the snow around the edge there, how it's submerged. What a cool place. Yes? Something funny? Tell me. No, nope. it's nothing funny. <laughs> I just love you. Oh, I will. I love you too. So this is where your car was parked, eh? Yeah, over there. Over here on this side? Oh, no, over there. Somebody parked over here. Yeah, somebody parked over here too. They got out too. They had a hard time getting out. Pretty deep when you park there. Well, it got deeper after I parked. Yeah, but, but it was, was deep snowing. under you. I mean, yeah. those. Yeah. You are under that, over that. Yeah. But good snow tires, no problem. No problem. No problem. See how deep your tracks are. Tire track, it doesn't have a water tread, according to what's left on the ground. The back, the back tires are in front of the front tire track. I like looking into the woods as we walk by. I think it looks so neat. Do you see where the deer go in? they've been in lately. There's a place here where they cross somewhere from over there. Oh yeah, there they are. I want to go looking for antlers because it's in January they fall off. Of course if I fell off I should have looked for them already because they'll be under the snow. And the mice probably will know where they are. You eat them up. Isn't that a nice spot for a hammock. I like that hammock. That's where I made that cedar cedar purse basket. Cedar bark. I didn't bring my walking sticks. So I may have to lean on you. You could carry me home, right? Fast traffic. There's some cedar bark right there, hanging off the tree. There's another hammock. Not very nice. 
accessible. But it's a hammock nonetheless. And there's another hammock through there somewhere. I don't know where it is. A little further out. Maybe it's over there. There's a pathway. The way in. Yeah, just climb up. Isn't that nice in there? I think it's so pretty. But it sure is a lot easier to walk right here. Than it is there. And there's another hammock. That is a big tamarack. There's our our champ our teepee. love our teepee. I think it was a good idea to build that. Do you think it was a good idea to build it, Willem? What? Yes. yes, sir. Oh, I could walk in there very easily yesterday. Today it's not going to be as easy. Darn. Oh, look at the deer tracks. What? That's not you. No, that's not me. Must be deer. Pretty big. Big for deer. Pretty big tracks. For, looks like people tracks. Yeah, that's what I would think. Well, I think they're too wide for people tracks. Here, let me. I think they are too much on a straight line for people tracks. It would be. You know what I mean? Well, here is our pathway. If you hold my hand, I can go first. Good. Just wait, I have to go first. Okay. These are good boots. I like my boots, they go up to my knees. Look how I made you a path today. Well, whatever made those tracks went straight across the pond, or the stream. Do you want the inner hammock or the outer hammock? to be in an enclosed space looking at the nature. Our light bulbs are not on. Do we have light bulbs here? Yes, you see? Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They work better when they're not covered with eight inches of snow. Right. Look at that. I'm still dry. Did it go over your boots? No, oh, I need to lie down. Refresh my back. Oh. Oh, nothing like an awesome teepee. I love it in here, Willem. I don't really love this coating they've got on the outside of it, but I love that we have a building here. Yeah. Maybe the sooner we're going to recover it. You think we, we should recover it? 
Yeah, maybe we should get some, get some Albany cloth. And replace a lot of stuff. I like to be able to see through and just have the sticks on this side. Well, you can leave this part open. You don't have to bleed close all the way, but just get this ugly stuff out of the way. Yeah. I think you're right. You could help me. Uh, sure, I'd be happy to. We could do it together. Once, once I'm retired. Whoa, wow, when you're retired, we can. you can help me. We can do lots of cool yeah. stuff. <laughs> you can put me straight to work. <laughs> That's right, on my honey-do list. Oh, will it ever get large? Will it ever get big? Will you ever get big? Will the list ever get big? Oh, yeah. Well, no, because you'll maybe, keep Maybe short. I should keep working for a little bit longer. <laughs> It'll be easier to go to work. You'll wish, you'll pine for the days when you could just get in the car and go away to work. <laughs> oh, how you'll miss it. The things that we will create together, Willem. My goodness, my expertise and your heavy duty muscle power. It's not that heavy duty, but yeah. I like the idea here of our bushes. You know, just have the bushes against the the place, you know? What do you mean bushes? The trees. Even though those have been kind of well they were, those weren't not burned. The burned ones are missing. Just the remnants of the fabric are burned. Yeah. What do you like most about it in here? Just that it's uh, an enclosed space away from away from the from the highway and looking out over the over the bushes, the the, the older trees and the stream. It's really nice. Like you have a view, and yet you're sort of enclosed, at least away from the away from the cars. You know, the cars can can see us. And, you sort of have the picture. I love it. Thank you for letting me build it. Of course. Boy, if you help me, I could do all kinds of things. The kids would never help me, you know? I want I wanted to move you know, more of these logs around and do things, but it was always too hard for me to do. And the kids wouldn't help me. All those muscles sitting there looking at a computer. What a waste. I used to be so strong. You know, 15 years ago when we moved here, I guess, how old was I then? 40. 42. I had so much energy. Well, I guess I was just determined. I didn't do this without getting exhausted. I would just be determined. I would go in the woods and I would cut alders. And remember you helped me bring all the alders out here. This was once all woven with alders. Right, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I think it would be good to do it, but weave it with willow. We should start at the top where it's easier. And work our way down. Yeah, no, like the, those tree weavings, I think you'll hear it pretty quickly. The tree weavings? Well, the willow will last, but the alders wouldn't. See, they broke. That's why they're all gone. I don't think there's any left. Well, this stuff is alders, right? Over there. No, that's not. That's all um, Christmas trees leaning up against it. Oh, okay. Mm, we have to close this a little bit. perfect place in here. I miss my spot over there on that side. You know, I always had my hammock there and I had my chair and my little plastic container of my scriptures and my journal mm -hmm. and my pens, my all-weather pen, my waterproof paper.
Do you see that we're on ice? Mm -hmm. There's a, pond, a beaver dam again down at the, just past the property line on the neighbor's property. So you can see it under here. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's my extension cord. If you need an extension cord, there's one. But it's a little frozen in. <laughs> I'll remember it next time. <laughs> next time you need it. Next time I need it. Let's go to the TP and hack it out of the ice. Mm -hmm. This is so good for my back. You know, older, what? Right yeah, this one little piece here is an alder, but they get too brittle. I know. They make good kindling. We could have ourselves a little campfire in here. You know, where we have, um, on the pond, where there are springs... Mm -hmm. The ice will be clear above the spring. Well, I mean, the snow above it will, will make it dull, even if you, if, you, if you have wipe it off. I know, but that's just something to remember. It'll be thinner. No, it won't be thinner, will it? Well, I mean, the springs are bubbling up there, and and they are hot. They are they are they are warmer, right? They are they are not quite zero degrees, probably like five or ten. So it might it might melt the ice a bit. So it'll be thinner. It'll but be it's eight feet, six feet down. But it's going to be frozen up above it. Yeah, the ice will be thick enough. It'll be a bit thinner than other places. It'd be interesting to find out how thick the ice is, to have a drill and go out and drill, just check. I'm going to, I'm going to lie in this hammock now. Actually, this is not tight enough. Could you hold this for me, please? Yep. Here comes Nancy. Here goes Nancy tightening that, that hammer. Do you know how to work? Okay, let's look at here. Here's the knot. Oh, I know why there. it's so loose. It's because it's, um... The snow is so high, or the ice is high, which creates my little situation here. The situation room. Coming to you today. You mean there's lots of ice in the hammock, which is no down there, like the snow, the height of the ice. Yeah. Well, why, why does it make the make the hammock looser? I don't see that connection. All right. Well, maybe it doesn't. But I'm not a logical person. Okay. Expect, Fair enough. You can't expect logic from me. Not today. Where is, where is, where is that head of yours? There we are. I have a head. Uh, yeah, smile for the camera. Nancy today. Hi, it's Nancy today. Coming to you today from the Situation Room. Where we have quite the situation here. Mm -hmm. You have a hammock wherever you go. Mm. And whenever you feel like it, you can lie down in it.
No, oh, there you go. Here's your camera. No, wait. I have to put this down a little bit more. She wants to be more in the limelight. What? I want to be more in the limelight? Yeah. That's why you want me to hold the camera a little longer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Then I could be famous. That's right. Hi. Maybe one day you'll make this it. This is famous Nancy. Coming to you from Nancy Land. That poor Canadian flag is just... Somebody told me, Mary at Mira told me that it needed to be replaced and it was quite a terrible thing to have it up there. Yeah, I think I think it's the sign of disrespect and to some people anyway. I Let guess me... I would need to put a fire on the end of a long, long pole and stick it up there and burn it. Well, that's no thought. Otherwise, the pole that it's on is this one here. This one right here belongs the flagpole. This one, eh? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's immovable. Okay. Well, you also have things like leathers. Leathers? Leathers. We have a ladder behind you. That's right, and you're going to be retired? Yeah, my. My, oh my. at me you're looking out out at the sunshine you still can't see me you're looking over at my hand I, I'm over here no I see I see all your all your thing in the picture you see me I see all of you in the picture I'm gonna be yes. famous Willem all right now you can, so <laughs> you, can, you can have your camera again that's because you want to be in the limelight now no you can you can, you can video anything you like I can video you because I like you best I like That's you sweet. better than the property. Really, eh? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. You know how much I love lot, this yes. property, don't you? I do. It's fun to have this property. It's an amazing place. Amazing. See, we have more trees have fallen, which we could use to make a better teepee. Was that a hope it'll go away? What? Oh, I didn't catch that. I said more trees have fallen over there. Yeah, okay. Which we could use to help make this teepee better. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty good teepee, but some of the poles are not as good as they could be. They're not as long as they should be. See, I have a hammock over there, but it's on the other side of the stream. And my bridge is underwater because of the beaver dam. Which means we have beavers, which means that they might come and eat all the alders. Every last one of them. Of them. It's good to have a destination like this when we go for a walk because then you want to go. For me, if I just have the idea of walking for the sake of walking, I'm going to walk there and walk back, but there's nothing there, it's just a spot where you decide you turn around. But I like it when I have to walk and I come here, so I get to lie down. People have asked me, why do you have this thing here? Why do you have a hammock? I mean, a, a teepee right next to the road. I mean, shouldn't it be way in the woods away from the road? But for me, it's perfect because it's so accessible. Mostly it's not accessible, but my boots are so nice and tall now that it makes it accessible. My boots are shorter, but I walk in. I walk in your path. I usually walk in your path. Mm -hmm. 
When you retire, I'll walk in your path. <laughs> Nonsense. I can make paths with my tall boots. Are you having a good day in there? Do you like coming here to the hammock and the teepee with us? It's nice to have you. Could zoom in on that on the snow. Not very easily because I have to swing. See how the shadows are blue? Sky is blue. Snow on the trees is white, but the shadows are blue. I think they're blue anyway, but you just see them on the snow as blue. It says on YouTube that these are widescreen videos, so it takes a million hours. So this is telephoto and this is wide. What is the difference? I mean, why has it got a W there? I don't know. It's got an auto there. There's a menu. What does the menu do if you want to look at the menu? It's the auto button. Hi, what you thinking about? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing you want the whole world to know about. All 28 people. <laughs> Oh dear. I come into this and I think of how I could improve it, you know. Everything everything I look at, I want to improve it. But in doing so, I end up wrecking it. Like if I took this all apart now, I doubt I could get it all back together again. I did take it apart lately. Which is why it's got these boards up here. After the fire, things broke. I had to remove some poles. We don't have as many poles as it used to. I thought it was pretty ingenious to use this plastic to wrap it up with. This was what they used to cover the lumber. Mm-hmm, right. I thought it was pretty ingenious. And yellow was a good color because it would make it bright in here. I also used some white stuff that had black backing. It's not a good idea. And I guess the the fire really stained the the nylon fabric. So I suppose a new a new nylon fabric would be good. Stripping. And yet it's very cold out there. But the sun is shining in. Mm -hmm. The sun is melting it. Before the Arctic temperature is still below freezing. So, so let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Smilers never lose. And frowners never win, so let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in.
This one's the one melting the fastest. So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Frowners never, smilers never lose. And frowners never win. So let the sun shine in. There goes. Mm -hmm. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I should go back. I want to go back. Just you? Well, not about me. Well, would you like to come with me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so why don't you say that? Let's go back now. Let's go back. It's a bit icy right there. Okay. I have to hold on to this to get up the little mountain. Hey, the back of me got cold or wet. See our little tamarack tree? Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're poking through, isn't it? And there's one poking through. I put I put these posts at them so we would be able to find them. Yeah. There's lots of them here that are alive. I did not put posts by the dead ones. I could use those branches at the dump and lay them against there. Have some green branches. That sounds like a dog up there. Doesn't sound like coyotes. Now this was easier to do when I had my, my canes. We have to go to the bridge. We must always go to the bridge. It's part of the routine. Soon we'll be able to sit at Pole Island, which will be an island. See, look, there's more tracks going around there. Now, wolves make very straight paths, but dogs make wandering paths. So something is on this ice or around here. But this comes over that and down and up and around and over there and right up here. Uh -huh. And there's a dam right there. Uh -huh. That one looks like otters. Uh -huh. It does look like a slide.
Look at it up here where it's reflecting the trees. The upper stream and the lower stream. We have to go across. no chairs here for people to sit in anymore. I have to put some chairs out here. It's a beautiful day, isn't it, Willem? Mm -hmm. It's a good day to have a Saturday at home. <laughs> this is kind of soupy on there. Slippery a bit. I shall obey my husband. See how obedient I am? Are you impressed? I'm very impressed. <laughs> well, and so you should be. Never forget it. This moment. That was a nice little path we made. Look at that. Now we can come back anytime. And go down there to the Sedge Meadow Nature Observatory. get bluebirds in these houses. <laughs> 